hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is skytech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to implement this strategy into your website um this strategy i mean to be able to um, make a flip book in your website so let's say you have a pdf and then you want readers to be able to read that pdf but you don't want them to um, you know scroll through all from up to down but you want them to flip it like a book okay in your website now you can do so um so easily now this is the pdf that we are going to read or this is the book that we are going to what we're going to go through okay so it's an eyelids exam um you know secret study and all those things now um it is by the british council so it is um you know an official book if you want to uh, study the eyelids you would be able to what um you know use this book to study now i'm going to go through and then tell you how this whole um you know 3d flip book looks like okay so um this is the front page of the of the book now if i go to let's say i want to go to the next page okay i can use this side or i can come down here and then use this arrow over here okay so let's say i want to use this one to flip to so this is how it's going to be like okay so um you're going to see it like a book that you are what you are flipping through okay so let's say you are reading and then you finish reading you can go to the next page to read it okay go to the next page also to read the next page and then also go to the next page so you'll be flipping through till you what you get to the last end of the what of the book now this is um you know very nice for people who um have a website whereby they they have digital you know assets over there like a magazine or let's say some textbooks and other stuff that you want um you know your users or your customers to be able to read it and then maybe you know also um download it or buy it okay you can be able to use this one to be able to what, do whatever you want to what you want to do okay so i'm going to show you how i was able to you know get this one done in my what in my website so now if i go back this is how the page looks like okay so um i've titled the the page with the book of what's life okay and then i have this flip book in it okay so i can what i can you know go through it and then you know read through it and then i can give it um, a full screen like we did or i can exit the full screen okay so i can also um, see the pages like this one over here okay all the pages will be aligned over here and then you can see all the pages you can also see it in what in um you know a list format okay so all the what um maybe the keywords or the titles will be what will be there how to use the manual you know, open for you and then if you want to go to maybe the um the top you know 20 tests you can go over there and then it will also be open what open for you okay now of course you can zoom in and zoom out all these things you can use it and then you can also what share okay so if you want to share it to, uh, to somebody you can do so okay now if you want to um you know also click over here for more so you can download the pdf and then you can what um you know um use it as what a single page what mode okay you can also what um set it as that and then you can go to first page and what go to what the last what page okay so this is the last page and if you want to go to the first page you can what you can go to what the last um, you know the first page okay and then when you are flipping through it gives you some sound okay like a book flipping sound okay if you want to what remove that sound you can also click over here to remove that sound so this is um you know basically a very nice um idea or concept to be able to you know help users retain users on your website and then also help them to what to be able to you know read through your books that you what you have on your website okay be it um you know um uh, pdfs um in any form okay it could be a textbook it could be a magazine it could be um you know any anything a chip uh, cheat notes and all those kind of things that you want to give it to your what your um, um your users or your readers on your what on your website you can implement this strategy that i'm going to show you okay so if you are interested in it and if you are new over here please like and subscribe to the channel for me if you're also an old um you know um, member of this channel please all what i need to do is what just like the video for me so that it will help um you know um, 
the youtube algorithm to uh, to notice this channel very well okay now that is the only thing i will need from you to do for me now we got this thing is free okay so don't worry we're not going to buy any plugin we're just going to use free resources okay so what we are going to do is very simple so let's just jump into the video So first of all, we are at the back end of our website over here. Okay, so we're going to install a plugin. So let's um, hover on plugins over here and then go to add new plugin. So we are going to uh, install a plugin that will help us to be able to create um, the, uh, you know, 3D flip, um, you know, um, PDF that we want. Okay, so what we're going to um, search for is what just search for PDF reader. Okay. And as you can see, that will be the first thing that will pop up. So you're going to see this one over here, PDF Flipbook, 3D Flipbook, WordPress, Dear Flip. Okay, so um, that is what we are going to do. We are going to install. And then it is by what? Dear Hive. Okay, so that is what we're going to install. So just click on install now over here and then click on what? Activate. Okay, so um, if you install and activate, you see it over here. Okay, that will be the first thing on your what plugin side because of the 3D. Okay, so um, what we are going to do is what we will locate where the, the D flip books are. Okay, so as you can see, we have this menu item on our left side over here, which says what D flip books. Okay, so just you know hover on it, and then you would see this one, which says what all books, um, add new book, and then what category of what books okay so we're gonna add a new book okay so first of all you need to what add a new book now of course if you are having let's say a bookshop or a book um, you know website all what you need to do is what create category of what of books okay now maybe you're also having a um, you know a mag um, an association website or something and then you issue a magazine every year you can categorize all those things and then what um make it look what nice okay so we're going to um, enter a name for the what the book so the name i'm going to enter is what um maybe i e l t s um you know cheat let's say cheat sheet okay so you know cheat sheet sheet okay exam cheat sheet let me say exam cheat sheet okay so um, it means that if you read this book you're going to get what full what um you know two marks in your what in the ILTS exams okay so for those of you who don't know this one this um, is an exams by um you know british council for everyone who wants to what you know travel outside um the country it is an english test okay for for everyone who wants to what, travel outside you know um or to go to uk to study to work and all those things you need to what have these exams if you are not from uk and then you want to go over there you have to study this one it's a popular exam so i know a lot of you guys know it now the source of the book type so you can choose the source is it an is it images is it what is it pdf so we're gonna say it's what it's a pdf okay so um the pdf file so here we select the pdf file that we want to use so we click on select pdf now of course i don't have any pdf file over here so what i'm going to do is I'm going to what bring in the file over here. So um, the file is what is the last file I have over here. I'm going to bring it this one over there. Okay, so um, that is it. So I'm going to upload it and then um, we work with this file. So this file contains what hundred and I think hundred and twelve or hundred and twenty pages. I I don't don't remember, but then it's it's kind of like a big file it's just a um, two megabyte of what um si file size okay so now that it is what uploaded um i'm going to what, send to what the flip okay so now i have it over here now it says that what um you know you can create a thumbnail okay so you can choose what a thumbnail so let me just you know select any image for the what for the thumbnail because as at the moment i did not create any um thing so um i'm going to just select any 
any image over here okay so let me just select some nice food image okay so let's say this one as a thumbnail okay so now now that i have this one selected now of course you can go through you can um go through the layout over here so how do you want it to to be do you want um you know it to be a 3d or 2d okay it depends on you so let's say you want it to be what um 3d you can what you can choose it over here okay if you want it to be what 3d css and 2d you can what choose it over here or i'm going to just leave it as the, the global what um you know settings and then the uh, hard pages okay choose which pages to act as hard only in what css mode so you can what um you know choose the cover pages all pages none i'm going to just use what the global what settings okay so um and then we also have what the background color okay so um the background color what background do you want it you can what put your background color over there and the background image you can also what put it over there and then also the flip duration okay so um you know the duration of the flip if somebody um the, the, you are going to the nest and then it's flipping what duration do you want to what do you want to um, put it over there you can what put it over there and then the container height okay you can what you can um check the, uh, put it what over there now at the moment it is with a global which is what um auto okay and then we also have what and um, the pdf page render okay so it is also um, global so i'm going just going to leave everything as with global settings and then um i go to the next one which is the outline okay so um if you want auto enable outline auto enable thumbnail override pdf outline all these things you can choose false or true for it okay i'm just going to leave it as it is and then the next one is what you can set categories for it, for it okay so you can add your category over here but for this i'm not going to add any category i'm just going to go ahead and then click on what publish okay so now that we have published our what our um, pdf you know we are going to see how we can um, view the pdf or insert the pdf into what into um, a post or page okay so firstly you create a pdf then you copy a short code and then you send it to what the um you know a page or a post to what to to be able to showcase it to your what to your audience okay so what we're going to do is what this is the what the short code okay so this is the short code and then this is what for the thumbnail okay so um, i'm going to pick this one as the normal one because that is what we're going to use it in what in the page okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new post okay so i go over here and then click on add post because this is the post that people what will see okay i'm going to create a new post and then i'll add the short code in it so i'm going to call the post title i'm going to call it um you know i e l t s exam um cheat sheet okay so um and then i'm not going to you know write anything but all what i'm going to do is i'm going to what you know search for short code okay so just search for what's um short sorry short code so look for short code over here okay and then paste in the short code that we what we copied okay just paste it over here now of course you can do your post settings for it you can you know do it anyhow you want to do it so if you want the template to be what full width you can what you can create your what your full width what template okay you can even use elementor to what to you know design it to make it what, very nice okay so it depends on you how you want to what how you want to do it and then you can set a featured what um, a featured image for it okay so let me just go and then set uh, set a featured image for it and then you see what i'm going to talk about so you set a featured image are very important for mostly for post okay because um a post you you sometimes you know um, put all posts on one page and then the featured image is what set the post what um, apart from different what different posts okay so um this is this is the featured image that i'm going to set for it now of course it is food okay so i just want it to be unique that is why i set up this one now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, click on publish to publish it so now that i have published my post now i have to what view it okay so as you can see i can view my post so i'm going to view it in a new tab over here 
so guys as you can see this is what the IELTS exam I'm going to close this one I'm going to also close this one the IELTS exams what um, you know cheat sheet okay now of course the PDF is what is loading so we have to what, allow it to what, to load for us okay so um, you see as you can see this is what this is it over here and now we have our book what um, you know um, inserted over here so um, you can go ahead and then view it as what as a full screen okay so this is the full screen mode okay now I can go ahead and then flip through it so as you can see my everything is what is working perfectly okay so I what I'll flip through it and then see how the book really looks like so you can go through all and then your users can be able to what to read download and then you know use it to do whatever they want to use it for to do so this is how you can be able to what, add um the the flip or uh, the 3d um, you know flip book in your what in your um website okay so thank you for watching thank you for watching and then please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel when you subscribe make sure that you hit the notification bell so that anytime i drop a video you'll be able to what you'll be able to see it and then you come and then watch it learn upgrade your knowledge upgrade your skills and then be able to what provide good service for your clients and then for yourself okay thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye